Got some theme music for this one. Some Sega Genesis music. Uh, just out to get my passport, had to get my birth certificate, and uh, just up in a the neighboring city. So finally got that all figured out. Now to downtown, but first, I think, for coffee and possibly some vegan food. We'll see what happens. Sega Genesis for the win. Oh, in case you're wondering, well, John, you're in a car in a parking lot. How are you playing Sega Genesis? My buddy Fred's playing it on an emulator. That anyway. Dude sitting here. All right, guys, so I couldn't actually film in there. It was just weird. There's like a bunch of people around, but got myself a barbecue jackfruit poutine. I am really excited for this. Um, got everything done that I need to do. Got my new birth certificate, got my passport. Well, They'll mail my passport to me in a couple weeks. Um, went to On V on Charles Street in Halifax. Got this food, which I'm going to show you in a second. Really, really pumped. And then also went to, um, there's a donut place just up the road from there called Vandals, Vandals Donuts, I think it is. And they have a vegan line of donuts as well. And so all they had, they just had three flavors, but I got half a dozen and they look amazing. I had one with like some peanuts on it, like a chocolate and peanut, and it was pretty freaking good. So anyway, just going to sit here. I guess I'm not really showing you this very well. I'll get this turned around. Just going to sit here and uh, eat this. Fred's gone in for something else to eat. Again, he's not vegan, so he's going to go in another restaurant here. I'm going to sit in the car. And uh, yeah, so take a look at this. There we go. Give this in the sunlight a little. I am really, really excited to eat this. So there's a lot of jackfruit and they do it on like, like not on necessarily French fries, I guess. It's like potato wedges kind of. Anyway, Cheesy, cheesy goodness, and I'm gonna scarf this back. All right, so I'm back out of, on the trail. I just almost dropped my phone. You may or may not be able to see right here. See if I can get this to focus. Yeah, is a power line. There's another one further up, about 200 meters up. That's right there. Anyway, I'm doing 200 meter repeats, so I'm gonna like at probably about 5k pace, run to the first one, and then recover to the second one with a jog, and then do the same back here to under this overpass. So from here to the second line is 400 meters, and I'm gonna be doing those repeats back and forth for a little bit. So I've got uh, 10 times 200 to do, and uh, so I got back from all of my running around in the city to do all my stuff. <clears throat> Luckily, you know, I'm in a position where I can expense a lot of that stuff off, so that's kind of nice. Got to have some great vegan food that I usually don't get a chance to eat because I live like an hour away. So yeah, it was uh, it was good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start my reps now anyway, and uh, I'm running out of daylight, so I should probably just hurry up with that. I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, so <clears throat> finished my workout. I actually. Um, only did six reps. I'm definitely feeling some fatigue in my legs today. Sunday's long run was 29K, 18 and a quarter miles. So that's definitely a long one. I felt really good. Like it worked perfectly. I probably could have run the marathon distance on Sunday. Everything just clicked really well. But, uh, and I felt pretty good yesterday. But today, you know what? I'm just going to respect that I did that distance two days ago. Sorry if this uh, highway traffic's annoying, but this is just the natural place for me to stop to do this. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm going to just respect that I did that distance and feel a little bit of fatigue today. I don't want to injure myself. So instead of doing 10 reps, I just cut it to 6. Still kept a pretty good pace. Uh, the last one I did, I, I do like to do my last rep a little bit faster. Um, you know, without without going too stupidly fast and risk injuring myself 
I do like to really pick it up on the last rep to, um, you know, kind of simulate just kicking it into gear at the end of a, at the end of a race or something. So, um, yeah, my phone had told me the battery was low. I'm down to 10%. So I had to clear that off my screen. So I'm going to wrap it up then. Um, today was a really cool day. Um, check out my Strava activities. Link will be in the description below if you're interested if you want to see like you know what my runs actually are instead of just me talking about them or I guess my easy one I did take you along with me but um <clears throat> yeah just gonna wrap it up I mean it was a good day got a lot of stuff done passport new birth certificate stuff like that and um you know back into the office tomorrow got a lot of exciting stuff coming up that uh, I'll talk about a little bit more in another video but yeah, so I'm just, it's going to be really hectic the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to it. Positive changes. So anyway, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following me along as always. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of what I talked about today. If you didn't, make sure to tune in next time for more of the same nonsensical BS. Cheers.